All right, so I am just going to walk through how to set up your Go Imagine shop. Now, I have not set up my shop on Go Imagine yet. I have set it up on Shopify and I have like created my own website. I've created a shop on Etsy. So I'm kind of versed in how to set up shops in different places, but you never know. So I kind of wanted to do this with you knowing that this is my first time going on this and so just want to see how user friendly it is. So let's see together. So right now I'm in the dashboard and this is under the goimagine.com slash vendor, which I found out the hard way is two totally different things from the Go Imagine uh, website. So be sure that you are in the vendor side. When you are in your dashboard, we are going into shop settings under shop account. I have already connected my Stripe account. Um, Stripe is the only platform that Go Imagine currently uses. And so uh, I don't use PayPal. I think it does use PayPal also. But um, so then, and wait for that to load. And then, as you can see over here, it shows your balance, orders, income, sales, active products, out of stocks. I don't currently have anything listed right now, but that will come in handy once I do. <clears throat> We're going to go to the next tab and see if it loads eventually. Sometimes it might need to be refreshed. Okay, so shop tagline, um, apples, and, uh, can't type vintage. Wow, talk about having a brain fog. Vintage reaper. Bust. Okay. Pinterest I'm not gonna worry about right now. Shop announcement. Mm. Mm. Alright. Do I need to save? Doesn't save. That little. Nope. Okay. Optional settings. Connect with Shippo. I don't use Shippo. Name for website URL. Apples and Aprons is actually my website. Okay, you're probably referring to this URL. Google tracking code. I don't even know what those are. Pixel identifier. I'll have to find out what those are. Move my little noggin. Solar dashboard color theme. I would like more of a pink, please. Not a hot pink. Soft pink. Okay. Meet the maker. Again, that's. Okay, alternate text title for SEO purposes. Image of Maker profile. And <clears throat> oh my goodness. I can elaborate on that later. Um, now doing that, I'm going to go back to this. Mm. 
whether it's SEO or using for accessibility, um, both are going to help. So, all right, so we're going to, <clears throat> and then we'll go for invoices. I don't use PayPal, as I said. I just use Stripe, which you can send invoices and get paid with Stripe. Terms and conditions. Um, that's in here for now. Reviews, I don't have any yet. So let's save that. Right, so that sets up your basics. So <clears throat> now that I'm looking at it, I don't really care for the pink. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to that teal. I liked that. All right, now I'm going to refresh it, move my little noggin again. And it's still pink. <laughs> Sad. Saving it. There we go. All right. Wow, that'll hurt the eyes. Okay, so marketing promotions. Now I want to put products in here. There we go. Okay, so I have already added, started to add a fuzzy fur ball. It's under handmade supplies, custom shop categories. Okay, I'll try going into that. Let's think if I, yeah, just gonna pull from something. I've already created. Okay, and five dollars. And obviously, you're going to want some rules for your shop, how you ship, if you ship internationally, um, if you don't, how you do that. Um, Anything, if you have had like an eBay store, an Etsy store, anything like that, if you've run into any issues. Um, so that's another issue too. You don't want people thinking that they're going to get exactly the same thing because these are, are not machine um, pumped out. So um, if they're handcrafted, they're all going to have different um, variations, different um, you know, if there's a blemish on it or if there's uh, something about the fabric that they need to know of. Um, just make sure that all the information that you would want to know if you were buying it is in there. Okay. All right, so the computer issues out SKUs. I didn't have to do that. Um, we're going to put it at $5. Track inventory. Um, we can. I'm, I ha only have a couple. So if you are creating downloadable digital uh, pictures, that kind of thing, you'll want to check that. That will open up different boxes. This is not downloadable. So search keywords. Again, for your SEO, you're going to want to fill these in. Okay, 
And then the shipping time frame. I've got to move my noggin again. Shipping time frame or promo text. Shipping time frame. We'll do two to three days. To get to post. Okay. Put my little noggin back. And how it's made. How it's made. Let's go by hand. You can get detailed if you want to. If you want to say how long it takes you, how many hours, um, you know, what kind of products you're using, whether you're using uh, backstitch, uh, different crochet hook that kind of thing. I have all these pictures that are like a crapshoot if they've downloaded. Okay, so SEO. Okay, H1 tag. This is going to be your main one. There can only be one H1 tag. Okay. Cut top or ball. Okay, and the metadata is kind of how you attract Google attention. Oh, that's neat. Google a snippets preview. That's kind of fun. Okay. <clears throat> so options for this item. So this is kind of handy. Um, if you're planning on listing, you need to know when you go to put in your items, box length, box width, box height. If you do all of that, ahead of time by the time you get to the post office um, and if anybody asks you about any of that information items in the box the weight all of that is not fun to figure out but anybody who's purchased anything online you know as well as i do that that's information that you need and it's just part of the sale so if you want to option ground advantage, not if we're doing free, calculate tax. Okay. Oh, doesn't like my request. Okay, optional settings. All right, so. Quantity discount. Um, no, I don't have that many that I'm selling. Files to sell. No, nope, that's not digital. Google at export features. I'm not going to do that either. So I'm going to save it. And creating more metadata will also help your SEO, but we're just trying to get it listed right now. Okay. So, if I go into user groups, nope, that doesn't help me at all. Okay, now if I go back to my dashboard and I would like to view my shop. And here you can say I have one active product and I'm going to view my shop. So here you can kind of decide <laughs> that that picture chose to not show up. This one did, so that's good. So that's too funny. OK, 
I need the maker should be a picture of myself. Yes. Okay. My address is hidden. Okay, so here we've got some good review space. Okay, so here we can see kind of what size of a picture it is, and you're not going to want to make it long like you would on an Etsy banner or Facebook banner. Um, it's a block, so, and we'll have to see, okay, that works. And I, I like that it opens up on um, another tab, kind of bugs me when it opens up on the tab or on the page that you're on, should open up on a different one so you don't get distracted. Okay, so let's go into, okay, so it doesn't actually open up on a, okay, there we go. Wow. So my suggestion on this, meet the maker, my suggestion is to maybe have something a little less like in your face, I guess. Because to me, I want to see the fur ball if I'm buying something. But And then like shop policies, you're going to want to know how, um, you know, different things that people want to know about your shop. Where are you located? How did you start? Um, you know, that can be in the shop um, policies or the meet the maker. Um, you know, if you have something where there's been an issue, you're going to obviously want that in the shop policies, but also, you know, if there's a reason that you got to that point that you want to share, you can also share that in the shop policies too. So, but this tells you that's pretty much it. So this gives you recent orders, order received, you know, canceled all this wonderful information, statistics on, you know, how people are getting to your, your shop where they're coming from. And this is the, the bare minimum. I don't think they have an upgrade option for having a shop. I think they just charge one fee, but if I'm wrong on that, I will let you know. So yeah, there you go, you guys. Pretty easy peasy. So, and my little fur ball's up and running. So now I have a live shop and probably need to get some more stuff. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And also let me know if you have a shop and how it's doing. I, I truly do want to know. So thanks a lot, you guys.